Hello and welcome to another edition of Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One. And today we're going to be making burnt ends. It's not your traditional burnt ends because when you think of burnt ends, most of the time you think of brisket, beef, burnt ends. But today we're going to be actually using pork belly and we're going to do a smoked pork belly barbecued burnt ends. So let's get started. And I, I think this is going to be awesome because you know, pork belly is basically bacon, and there ain't nothing better than bacon. So let's get going here. This is super, super simple. Um, it does take a little bit of time, but it, it's not time that you're actually spending doing anything. It's just waiting for the grill to do its thing. So go ahead and get started here. What I did was I went to the old meat market, Orange Meat Market, Hayes, and I picked me up about an eight pound. Uh, pork belly and it this pork belly actually it doesn't have the skin on it it does have a pretty good cap of fat on it but as far as the skin part of it which some of them do have on it this one doesn't have it so and what I did was I went ahead and cut this in half so you're typically looking for you know it, it's kind of an appetizer so you don't want a whole pork belly which is about eight or nine pounds, you'd probably go for more of half of it, you know, about four, five, that'd be perfect. So first step of making our burnt in pork belly is we're just going to cut our pork belly in cubes. And we're gonna cut them, we're gonna cut, go ahead and cut them in about two inch cubes because once they smoke for the length of time that they're gonna smoke, they'll start to shrink up and stuff. So we're looking kind of for like about the size, you know, of about an appetizer. So we're gonna go for about, we're gonna say about an inch and a half to two inch cubes. And I'm just gonna cut this through And you know, when you cut into this, you can really see why it's, you know, this is truly bacon. So, but anyway, it's going to be awesome because bacon burn ins basically. So, um, like I said, we'll cut this in about two inch cubes. And when you go to cut this, you truly get an idea of how sharp your knife truly is. All righty, just about there. Okay. And then what I do is just buy some of these aluminum tins. They work perfect for doing some of this type of stuff. Um, best part is when you're done, you just throw them away. Because I hate doing dishes. Ask my wife. Okay. While I'm doing this, the next step is we're going to kind of coat these in olive oil. And as I'm sitting here cutting these up, I'm looking and I notice I have no olive oil sitting up here. And it's right off the screen, so I'm going to make Aubrey get it for me real quick. Looky there, it just magically appeared. All right. And I mean, these don't have to be exactly two inches. So. Just about done. We'll cut that one in half too. All right. So there we go. We have our pork belly cut into about two inch cubes. Now then, we're gonna take our little tin, and all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna kind of put, drizzle some, some olive oil on these, and 
all that's doing is going to help our our rub that we put on these kind of stick so I mean you wouldn't have to do this but like I said it, it, it will help those stick I had a fatality it fell on the ground you don't know how bad I want to reach down and pick it up but I'm not okay so we have those all coated in olive oil so the next step is we're actually going to use kind of a grate here to put these on and so the next step is we're going to actually sprinkle our our rub on these now we want to put our rub on there pretty liberal so um, and the rub that I'm using this is actually a, I found this rub and and on I think Pinterest tried it tweaked some stuff and I really like it it's uh, it's kind of a knockoff of some of the other rubs out there but it's really kind of spicy it's got it's got salt and a lot of different pepper blends in it if you're interested just Put a little message on YouTube there and we'll send you the, the kind of the recipe for this rub but it's really really simple to make um, like I said a lot of salt and a lot of pepper blends not a lot of sweetness no sugar or anything like that in it but it really works good for this recipe because when we put this on we we want to put it on pretty liberal like I said and we really want something kind of hot because when we're done with this we'll put barbecue sauce on it and then we'll kind of go with a sweet barbecue sauce to kind of offset the heat and it's kind of the perfect match so like I said I'm gonna kind of coat these really liberal with this rub and then I'm gonna set them on my grate when I set them on the grate I'm actually gonna put these fat side down and when I do that I want to make sure we have you know you don't want them all on there smashed together and touching because you want that smoke to kind of be able to uh, permeate through that meat and so you want all the sides kind of exposed so we're just going to kind of coat these on there and you really you go through a lot of of rub especially if you want to put the get it on there really thick and then when we get down towards the end of our tray here we'll just kind of start dumping it in there it was too full earlier for that And if you see a, a label on my little shaker, I stole it from somebody, or I took the empty container from somebody else, and then I put my own stuff in there. So, like I said, stuff you can buy at the store, it's really easy to make. Um, and, you know, the cool thing about kind of making your own rub is once you make it, kind of make a note to yourself of what you like about it and what you don't like about it, and then just tweak it the next time. Okay, almost done here so when we're done here with all this we're gonna go ahead and put these on the grill and let them smoke for right about two to three hours okay all right there we go so we're gonna finish these off we're gonna put them on the grill we're gonna let them smoke for about two or three hours and then when we're done, we'll take them off, we'll cover them in some barbecue sauce, kind of go from there. So, tell you what, I'm going to finish this part up. I'm going to get them on the grill smoking for, like I said, right about two to three hours. Close them up, we're going to keep it all open so that smoke gets to them really well. And when we come back, you know, we're going to take about a two minute break, but it'll be like three hours in time and these will be done. So don't go away. Hey, Next Tech customers. Would you like a chance to win free service on your next tech bill? 
Well, here's your chance. On the first and third Sunday of every month, tune in to Next Tech Local 1 at 6 p.m. and play along with Next Tech Sunday Fun Day Bingo. If you miss an episode, don't worry about it. It'll replay every night at 6 p.m. Use your cards included with your Next Tech bill or print your own at nexttech.com slash bingo. Next Tech Sunday Fun Day Bingo is brought to you by these awesome sponsors. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. Jerry. When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. Everybody. But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers & Associate to learn more. What a girl wants in her home kitchen. Ease of use, flexibility, fun, the latest kitchen design, Frigidaire Professional Real Stainless Steel for fewer finger smudges, a French door refrigerator, convection cooking, a quiet dishwasher. Have the staff at Genuine Appliance in Hayes demonstrate new Frigidaire Professional Appliances to find what you want. Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. Everything a girl wants. Storage Solutions is invested in complete customer satisfaction. You can choose a drive-up unit or a climate-controlled unit. Plus, you can choose from storage units of all sizes to fit your inventory. And that's not all. They'll sign for your packages and deliver and unload them into your unit. Storage Solutions has been named in the top 100 U-Haul dealers six times. Rent a pickup, cargo van, or moving truck to keep your goods on the go. Remember, making moving and storing easy is Storage Solutions in Hayes and Victoria. Hey, welcome back to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One. And we're outside today and we're making burnt ends, but not brisket burnt ends. We're actually making pork belly burnt ends. Bacon, we love bacon, so we're going to make pork belly burnt ends. So what we've done so far is we took our pork belly, we cubed it in about two inch, one and a half inch cubes. Um, we coated it pretty thick with our rub. Um, and then we put it on the smoker and they've been on there for about two and a half to three hours. If you have the time, let them go three hours because the more they smoke, the better they're going to be. So like I said, we let them go for about two hours, two and a half hours. So now we're going to go ahead and take them off and do our next step. So we'll go ahead and get these off of the grill. So, there are our, 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 um, our pork belly burnt in. So, we're going to go ahead and punch these real quick. And right now, temp-wise, they are about 165, 170, somewhere in there, depending on the size of them. Um, you know, if I had to do it again, maybe I would have cut them up just a little bit smaller, but they kind of puff up, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pinchers here, and we're just going to throw them in our tray. Okay. like so. Move this over here so I don't burn myself. All right, so we have our burnt end cubes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get me some butter over there. I'm going to make somebody get that for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt some butter. We're going to melt about two tablespoons of butter and then we're going to mix in with that some some barbecue sauce and some honey and we're going to coat these with that sauce so we're going to go ahead and let that 
go ahead and melt. We're gonna go ahead and we'll coat these with our barbecue sauce, our butter, and some honey. There's not really a set amount that you put on it. You just wanna make sure they're all covered. We're gonna put those on and then we're gonna put them back on the grill, cover them, and we're gonna let them go for about another hour. And what we're gonna be looking for at this next step is for that sauce to kind of soak in and start to caramelize a little bit. So, take a peek at our butter here. All right, so that's our butter. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda pour that over our burn ends here. Okay. Now then, when you pick a barbecue sauce, I've got a couple different here, but when you pick a barbecue sauce, like I said before, I want, you know, typically when I, my favorite barbecue sauce is more of a kind of a bitter barbecue sauce. I don't like a real sweet barbecue sauce, but in this case, I think you need to use the sweet because we've got a lot of peppery blend in our rub. And so I think that our barbecue sauce that's a little sweeter is gonna be a little better. So I'm just gonna add our barbecue sauce. And I, I don't know about you, but it, at my house, my fridge is full of about five or six different kinds of barbecue sauce because I'm always liking to try something different. So you know what else is another good barbecue sauce to use for something like this? Some you're trying to get rid of. So, all right, so there we have that. And what we're going to do is just kind of mix this up so that all has some sauce and some butter. I'm actually going to put some of these top ones in this pan because I didn't get to the bottom ones near as good. Okay. And... I was running low on that sauce, so I'll switch to this one. Also, to me, this <laughs> when when I do barbecue, I think that. Uh, the sauce is something you add later. Like, you know, if you want barbecue sauce on your sandwich, then you add it to your sandwich later. I'm not a big fan of brushing the barbecue sauce on the meat while you cook it and everything. So, but we'll make an exception this time. So make sure these are all covered really good. Put a little bit more on here, the top. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of honey. I'm gonna squirt it on there too. All right, there we go. So. Just like so. Go ahead and put this on there. Got some extra butter and stuff. We'll pour that on. 
All right, so there we got our pork belly burn ends covered in barbecue sauce. We'll show it to you over here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these back on the grill at about the same temp that they were on before. We're gonna let these go for about another hour to hour and a half. The best way to tell, like I said, is when that barbecue sauce starts to really withdraw into that meat and it starts to caramelize. So that is gonna be our cue to take it off and to eat this stuff. So don't go away, when we come back, we'll give this a try. Technology changes every day. Whether you want to keep up with the latest technology or master the gadgets you've already got, Next Tech University is here for you. Our experts will help you navigate the technology world. From business cloud computing to the iCloud, computer security, software, smartphones, and even must-have geek gifts, Next Tech's experts will share useful tips, tricks, and more to help with today's technology and keep you up to date on the hottest trends. Tune in to Next Tech University or Next Tech Local One, YouTube, and Next Tech On Demand. Your home's exterior is the best defense against harsh weather conditions. With insulated vinyl siding, energy efficient windows, spray foam insulation, and metal roofing from AquaShield Roofing and Construction, you can protect your home from howling winds and ice cold temperatures. Don't let Mother Nature interfere with the comfort of your home. Call or visit us online today for a free estimate. AquaShield Roofing and Construction, our team is dedicated to your complete satisfaction. Seems like the world is always changing. And like the weather in Kansas, change is inevitable. Mobile technology improves the lives of everyone, not just those living in a city. Next Tech Wireless is right there with you, providing expanded LTE coverage for everything from phones to farm equipment. We are devoted to help Kansas work smarter and live better. Next Tech Wireless, time for something different. Today, get four iPhones and unlimited data for less than $40 a line. You're an expert at building your company. You know your customers, your books. You live it, eat it, breathe it. Are you also having to wear an IT hat while you're managing hundreds of other things? Those hats could really add up. That's where Next Tech comes in. We'll let you be the expert of your business, and we will be your IT department. From cybersecurity to backup, hardware and software, we'll manage it for you so you can keep your business running. Rest easier with Next Tech Managed IT. Hey, welcome back to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One. And we're outside and we're making burnt ends. Now we're not making the traditional brisket, you know, beef burnt ends, but we're making a pork belly smoked burnt ends. Just a little bit of recap, we cubed it into about two inch cubes. We put a liberal amount of a rub on it. You could use any kind of rub you wanted. I used kind of a spicy rub. And then we put kind of a sweet, um, barbecue sauce kind of covered it all with a little bit of honey and butter and then we put it back in there and we've let it cook for about another hour and a half so we want our temperature to be at about 220 We are good to go. We're about 219. We'll go ahead and take it off. There we go. Okay, check these out. See how that uh, it's starting to caramelize with that butter and barbecue sauce. I went ahead and put some tin foil on it. That's always kind of a good idea about halfway through. It starts to seal a lot of that in there and it starts to cook a little bit better, a little quicker, makes sure it's nice and tender. So what we're gonna do is we are going to try one of these. Like I said, they're pretty small. Uh, they're kind of the perfect little appetizer. <laughs> Make sure they're nice and tender, made out of bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. They're very hot, so my luck, I'm gonna put one of these in my mouth and burn it. So I'm gonna... Hmm. 
that spiciness from the rub and then you've got the really sweet barbecue sauce they're really tender believe me the longer you let them cook in there make sure they're about 220 225 when you take them off let them set for about two or three minutes and they'll be perfect so hey we want to thank you for joining us on this issue backyard grilling make sure you check out youtube pinterest instagram all those social media sites and look for other recipes that we've done here on backyard grilling and we'll catch you next time